Hello, it's Amanda from IDPN, the ID Photographer Network. Today I'm going to show you how I remove unwanted elements from an image. I'll be doing this today using the clone tool. Later in this week, I'll show you how to use the same tool to do some basic facial retouching. So we're going to get started. So here we have our picture of our model Mona, and as so often happens, we were caught up in the moment shooting and didn't notice that the hanger strap of her dress had started to poke out. Because her dress has a hard edge along a curved line, this is a job for the clone tool rather than the patch tool or the healing brush. We don't want a tool that's going to blend two areas together because we want to keep that hard seam edge. So the clone tool lives on your toolbar over here, and we need to do some adjustments in the tool menu. Because that dress has a hard edge, we don't want a super soft brush that's going not going to give us a definite line, but we also don't want a very hard brush that's going to make it difficult to blend in when we clone. So we're going to set the, the brush's hardness somewhere in the middle here, and you may have to play around a little bit to find a setting that works best for your particular edit. We can also adjust the size of our clone tool by using the bracket keys. So if we click on the right key, the right bracket, the brush gets bigger. If we click on the left key, the brush gets smaller. So this is helpful when you're in the middle of an edit and don't want to go all the way back up to the tool menu to change your brush size. So now we're going to zoom in on the hanger strap. So the clone tool makes an exact replica of wherever you tell it to sample. You have to hold down the Option key or the Alt key on a PC and then click the bullseye from, to tell it from where you want it to clone and then work from there. Because it's an exact replica, we want to match the shade as closely as possible. So it's darker in here and it's lighter in here. And you can see that the tool gives you uh, a preview of what it's going to do before you do it. At least it does in CS6, which is nice. So we're going to kind of keep painting, watch that that edge, and we're going to keep moving our sample location so we can try to match that shade as closely as possible. And as we get in here, we may have to use that left bracket key to make our uh, brush a little smaller. So we're just going to get on in and paint all this in here. And you just want to go slowly, just take your time. And we're going to get those last little bits of just get that last little bit there. So it takes a little finesse, um, but just take your time uh, and you'll be cloning away in no time. Um, so that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something today and be sure to check out the rest of our videos by subscribing to our channel or visiting the resource library and the blog listed in the description below. Thank you again from IDPN, the I Do Photographer Network.